Hey guys, Tessa here with Batesville Memorial Public Library. Um, for the third through eighth grade programs, we are going to be making a few take and make um, projects that you can come to the library and pick up your bag and take it home and have fun doing a few projects at home. We are going to make edible slime. So what we need to have first is we're going to do cornstarch, jello, and a little bit of water, and that's all. So first we're going to start with our cornstarch. We need about a half of a cup. So we're going to unload it in here, measure out a half a cup. We're just going to dump it in our bowl here. And then we're going to take our jello and we're just going to dump it on top of our cornstarch. And we're going to get another little container of just water. And we are just going to add about two tablespoons at a time here. And we're just going to give it a good mix. Just going to keep adding our water slowly. Until we have almost like a putty-like consistency here. And some of your jello will just kind of magically turn a color. to start using your hands to kind of mix it. Add a little bit more water here. Not only does it smell delicious, So depending on the consistency that you guys want, you can probably add a little more water to make it goopier. There you have your edible pudding. You guys can give it a taste if you'd like. Not sure, but it smells really good. <gasps> and then you can just play. <laughs> we are going to be making um, sparkly unicorn slime. So we are going to start with our bowl here and we are going to measure out roughly about a half cup of glue. Clear glue um, works the best for this project here. Um, so you can really see our glitter and color. Uh, next we are going to add about just a half teaspoon of our baking soda. Sprinkle it around. Get out your glitter glue sticks. 
give them a good squeeze. Empty the tube out into your bowl of glue and baking soda mixture. Turns out real sparkly. Next you're going to want to add about a half a cup of water. Give it a good stir. Next, we're going to add our saline. So about a half of a tablespoon of our saline activator here. Just gonna pour it in. Give it a good stir. And I want to just keep stirring until it starts sticking to your spoon pretty good. So the more you play with this and stir, the better the activator becomes. You don't want to add too much of the activator, otherwise your slime will just become super hard and kind of disappointing because it will just break. So the longer you stir and kind of play with it, oh, it's sticking a little better to my spoon here. Got some good slime, sparkly slime happening. Now for the fun part. Taking it out of the bowl here and playing. It's not quite set up. So if we add just a little more activator at a time here. We'll continue to play with it. See how it's starting to set up. In play. You guys got some sparkly slime. Hope you enjoyed this project.